Spanish learners, and welcome to another episode of Spanish Academy TV. Today, we'll be talking about a delicious, social, and relaxing topic. Spanish vocabulary, how to order and discuss coffee. Just visualize yourself taste testing fresh coffee in a Spanish-speaking country in Latin America. Nice image, right? Over a dozen Latin American countries are top exporters of this irresistible bean. And learning some Spanish vocabulary about this iconic morning brew is a good and enjoyable idea. But before we start sipping our morning coffee in Spanish, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Again, like, subscribe, bell button. Easy! simple, and the best way to get quality Spanish content on the web. Now, let's go back to that warming coffee and the Spanish vocabulary that accompanies it. Let's say that you want to order a coffee in Spanish. What would you say? That's easy. Un café, por favor. Or one coffee, please. But what if your barista asks you about the type of coffee that you want? That's when the delicious coffee experience really gets tricky in Spanish. So let's have a look at some useful Spanish vocabulary about coffee. Most popular types of coffee in Spanish. For now, let's forget about those popular cappuccinos, frappes, and macchiatos so common in the big brand coffee shops. And let's focus on the types of coffee you will find in any Latin American coffee shop. If you want to learn more Spanish vocabulary about different types of coffee in Spain, read this great article. Café solo. This is just coffee, or what you may know as an espresso. The kind of coffee you order when in a hurry. Small, black, and intense. Drink it quickly at the coffee shop, or taste its strong flavor in little sips if you have the time. Anyway, it will give you a sudden boost of energy. Un café solo, por favor. One espresso, please. Café doble. What's stronger than an espresso? Two espressos. Well, that's what you get when you say, Un café doble, por favor. One double espresso, please. Café cortado. Café cortado literally means cut coffee, but it's actually a macchiato. It's a smart option for those who think that the previous options are just too strong. A café cortado is an espresso with some drops of leche al vapor, or steamed milk. Dos cafés cortados, por favor. Two macchiados, please. Café americano. The café americano, or American coffee, is simply an espresso with water. Not the favorite of coffee enthusiasts around the world. Tres cafés americanos, por favor. Three American coffees, please. Café con leche. One of the most popular types of coffee in Latin America is the café con leche, or coffee with milk. With equal parts of espresso and milk, the café con leche provides a balanced flavor that's alluring to the masses. Un café con leche para llevar. One coffee with milk to go. Café con hielo. Before frappuccinos were a thing, in Latin America, we had café con hielo, or coffee with ice. Un café con hielo, por favor. One iced coffee, please. Café descafeinado. If you love the taste of coffee, but your body doesn't react well to caffeine, you can always order a café descafeinado, or decaf coffee. Un café descafeinado, por favor. One decaf coffee, please. These are some of the most common types of coffee that you will find in any coffee shop throughout Latin America. If you'd like to know what type of food Latin American people order to accompany their coffee, read this interesting article about the typical Latin American breakfast. Here, I'm going to stop for a moment to remind you that with Homeschool Spanish Academy, you can get a free Spanish class with a certified native Spanish-speaking teacher. Go to www.spanish.academy/free-class or click here 
Don't worry, you don't need a credit card or make any payments. It's just one more of the free quality services that we offer at Homeschool Spanish Academy. Give it a try and start talking about coffee in Spanish today. Okay, now let's get back to our coffee and learn some Spanish vocabulary about the classic ingredients for coffee in Spanish. El azúcar. In Spanish, you can order your coffee con azúcar, with sugar. Sin azúcar, without sugar. Con doble azúcar, with the double amount of sugar. For a sweetener, order your coffee con stevia. Other sweetening options include miel or honey, mascabado, non-refined cane sugar, la leche or milk. Now, let's say that you want your coffee sin leche, or without milk. That's not a problem. But what happens when you want your coffee con leche, or with milk? Usually, your barista or waiter will ask you, ¿Y cómo quieres su leche? Or, how do you want your milk? A question that has many possible answers. Caliente, hot. Muy caliente, very hot. Templada, o Tibia, lukewarm. Fría, cold. You can also ask for different types of milk. Leche entera, whole milk. Desnatada, skim. Semi desnatada, reduced fat. Leche de vaca, cow's milk. Leche de soya, soy milk. Leche de almendra, almond milk. Leche de avena, oat milk. Leche de cabra, goat's milk. That's great. Slowly but steady, you keep growing your Spanish vocabulary related to coffee. Do you want to know how to order breakfast in Spanish too? I recommend to watch this excellent video about this all important topic. Improving your coffee experience. Well, you're almost ready to get into a Latin American coffee shop and order a coffee in Spanish yourself. Let me give you some extra Spanish vocabulary that will help the experience to be even more pleasant for you. Una taza, a mug. Un vaso, a glass. Una cuchara, a spoon. Con canela, with cinnamon. Sin canela, without cinnamon. Con crema batida, with whipped cream. Sin crema batida, without whipped cream. Café molido, ground coffee. Una bolsa de café en grano, a bag of whole bean coffee. Molinillo, grinder. Also, if your barista asks you where you want to enjoy your coffee, you have a few options. Adentro inside the coffee shop, afuera, outside the coffee shop, in la barra, at the bar, in la terraza, on the terrace. Awesome! Now let me show you some phrases you may hear or say when ordering a coffee in Spanish. ¿Qué quiere tomar? What do you want to drink? ¿Cómo quiere su café? How do you want your coffee? Me da un cortado, por favor. A maquillado, please. Me lo da en vaso para llevar, por favor. Can I have it in a takeaway cup, please? Your first coffee conversation in Spanish. That's it! Your Spanish vocabulary has improved markedly, and now you're ready to have your first coffee conversation in Spanish. Buenos dias! Buenos dias! Me gustaría tomar un café. ¿Y cómo quiere su café? Con leche y azúcar mascabado, por favor. ¿Leche de vaca? Sí, por favor. ¿Tiene leche desnatada? Me temo que no. Lo siento. ¿Lo va a tomar en la barra? No. Prefiero sentarme afuera. Claro que sí. Enseguida se lo sirvo. Gracias. De nada. Did you get it all? I'm sure you did. But anyway, here goes the same conversation, but in English. Good morning. Good morning. 
I would like to have a coffee. And how would you like your coffee? With milk and Moscovado sugar, please. Cow's milk? Yes. Do you have reduced fat milk? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Do you want to drink it at the bar? No, I would prefer to sit outside. Of course. I'll get it for you in a moment. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. You just had your first coffee conversation in Spanish. If you'd like to find more coffee conversations like the one we just had, read this excellent article about coffee in Spanish. Congratulations! Now you're ready to order your own coffee in Spanish. Just remember that Latin America is a huge region and there will be some differences between one country and another. However, you can be certain that with the Spanish vocabulary that you learned today, your barista will understand how you want your coffee. All that's left for me is to remind you that you can download our free ebook, Weird and Wacky Spanish Stories by clicking on the link below. This is a completely free ebook, best suited for A2 level and above, but also perfect for A1 learners who wish to improve their fluency through reading. It's a magazine style ebook with pictures and English to Spanish parallel texts and six weird, wacky, and super entertaining Spanish stories that are fun for kids and adults alike. See you next time! I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel for all Spanish learning updates. Hasta pronto.